blockchain is one of the most powerful tools in the world but there is a problem what's the problem it's actually the most underutilized tool in the world with only 3.9 percent of the whole global population using blockchain which is a very very low number we all know that blockchain comes with very advantages things like decentralization uh, immutability data security transaction safety and so on and so forth but again blockchain also has its own set of setbacks that has actually prevented most people from using blockchain we all know that we can use blockchain in our day-to-day lives for example we've seen countries doing elections using blockchain as a tool for elections we've seen companies setting up their services and they're using blockchain as a service because blockchain has proven over time to be a very very powerful and important tool however over time the same same blockchain has been veering off the road because it is not serving its purpose that is supposed to serve why am i saying this uh, this is basically because uh, builders face uh, some very many hurdles in accessing these particular products instead of actually benefiting the consumer we realize that blockchain is actually benefiting some few individuals so why is this happening there are around three main reasons why this has been happening and of course the number one is the issue of user struggle with the ui ux because you realize that at times the system is very complex to understand and then if someone wants to develop their product on the blockchain they're gonna face some very very hard time because of the ui ux design that comes up with this particular blockchain then of course the users face hurdles in accessing these resources because some of them are not available for free because you have to pay for some apis at times so that you're able to integrate this particular particular services with your platforms and that again creates a very bad experience for users because they are not able to use this particular feature and also we've seen some projects coming on blockchain promising some high returns but again this project just fade away with time and that of course creates a very negative reputation about blockchain in general so of course these are some of the issues that have prevented blockchain from reaching its optimal and maximum potential across the globe and it's because the industry has been basically prioritizing innovation instead of focusing on consumer adoption because you all know that for something to be easily adopted then the user must have a seamless and must have a very good experience uh, whenever they're using this particular products because adoption is primarily driven by what you call the user experience and this is why we are bringing to you something called MOF. what is MOF? MOF is basically a global consumer layer 3 for web3 what do i mean i mean that it's basically a fundamental shift that is changing how we approach blockchain because it's basically giving us a simplified version and a better way of doing things on the blockchain which is pretty much a very very good thing so essentially what does a global consumer layer mean what it means is that it is not just your ordinary layer 3 or layer 2 scaling solution because it's basically a distribution hub that has all the resources that you need in order for you to be able to develop and scale mass adoption in the market because MOF is basically trying as much as it can to simplify things for you so that you're able to build your products on blockchain, you're able to conduct your activities within a very seamless and transparent a process okay and of course MOF creates an ecosystem that combines technology number one combines what you call uh, builder support and also strategic market access so that if you have those three things technology support and market access you are good to go because your products can do very very well because you have all that you require in order for you to develop as well as push this particular uh, product so MOF does this in primarily four ways of which i'm going to explain the four ways MOF ensures that you're able to sell through well in this particular space number one we have what you call user acquisition so basically when you come on MOF and you want to build your products on MOF MOF has a database of more than 40 million users so essentially your service will be exposed or will have a reach of all this audience which is gonna be a plus for you because the audience of MOF will basically have access to your service and when they have access to your service that basically means that your service is gonna benefit them in one way or another which is primarily cool because despite you building on MOF you're also tapping on the users for MOF that is why you get the user acquisition for MOF because you're building your products also on MOF 
something else is that MOF has what we call an ecosystem connections because MOF encompasses many systems together. Technology that is being used on MOF is very user friendly. And actually, when you bring your systems on MOF, you're basically tapping on that ecosystem because you'll be exposed again to the ecosystem that MOF possesses, which will be a plus for your services. Because again, remember that ecosystems are all that build the backbone of a service as well as the backbone of a technology because MOF has so many products the benchalists are there that can definitely give your business or your service an upper hand in this particular field. Then something else with MOF is that MOF has what you call uh, builder support and uh, with this particular platform it's actually one of my favorite things about MOF. Why am I saying this? Because with builder support is that you will be able to access some benefits that come with this particular MOF. Despite them supporting your business or your service or your venture, you'll also have access to some of the features that includes, for example, grants are there, the issue to do with the uh, support okay for the developer support is there and also you'll be exposed to more more services just to ensure that they support you and they're able to give you opportunities to ensure that uh, you're able to sell through MOF the best way possible. And also, MOF has what you call uh, the latest technology being used in the market because, again, despite us saying that blockchain has some hurdles, MOF is coming in and trying to ensure that the issues being addressed on the blockchain, things like the UI UX uh, problem, things like projects launching and not going to fulfillment, okay? MOF is actually trying to come up with technologies that will ensure that such occurrences are not happening on MOF. And that is why you should be able to be building your products and your services on MOF. And again, as I've said, blockchain has potential for growth, a big potential because it's a very, very vast field because it bridges basically what we are building. And remember that we are trying to unlock its power uh, basically through scaling impact. And that's exactly what MOF is doing because it's all about scaling the impact. If you impact people and they're able to see the impact, then your product or your service is going to do very, very well. And that is exactly why MOF is here. Also, if you're a seasoned developer or you're just getting started or anyone, you're welcome to MOF because MOF has something for everyone. Everyone has a place in MOF, whether you're developers have said, whether you're just getting started, whether you're a user or a tech enthusiast. MOF is basically here for you because we aim at shaping global consumer. So basically, you can join the consumer layer for MOF because our testnet is live. You can join us on our testnet. And for the developers, you can apply for incubation or you can explore grants that are available on MOF. And also for the users, you can just join our ambassador program for MOF and you can spread the word about MOF. You can find MOF basically on um, X at MOF. L2, that is where you're going to find them on X, same applies to Discord, you can follow MOF on their Discord platforms and also you can follow MOF on their blog, I'm going to put the link on the description so that you can go see what MOF is doing, see all the benefits that come with MOF because again remember that technology is here to stay and whether you like it or not you'll have to embrace technology in one way or another. So hop on to MOF, whether you're a developer, a user or you're just curious about MOF go understand how MOF works and know that you can solve real life problems using MOF as your preferred service provider. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, share, follow, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about MOF and I'll see you in the next one.